All right, Fishaholic fam, welcome back to another episode. We are back home in Florida here, and uh, we were up in Montauk, New York for about nine days, and uh, it feels good to be back home, although it was an amazing trip. And uh, I was gonna just chill today because I landed back in Florida yesterday after an extremely scary flight because I think that the flight possibly or the plane possibly got uh, struck by lightning. There was like, a loud bang and a flash of light and like the whole uh, um, flight or all the passengers on the plane were like freaking out. I was just uh, freaking out in silence so trying to keep my cool. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I was just gonna chill today but uh, my good buddy Aaron or A-Ben's Fishing uh, uh, hit me up and he's like, hey, he's going out. I'm going out in my boat. Uh, do you want to come with and he said the bite's been pretty good so uh, we're gonna hop in the car and head up the jensen beach and uh, we're gonna hop out out on aaron's boat and uh, we're gonna try and see if we can get out on a bite of pro probably some snook um, but also maybe some jacks or some tarpon so uh, let's hop in the truck and i'll see you guys at the water Alright guys, made it to the water, here with Aaron here. What's going on guys? And uh, we got here, or I got here like an hour ago. Aaron, you've been here for what, a couple hours? and we've been Running around catching some bait. But uh, he got off the water and when I got here, like a storm just hit, yeah. all through, came through this whole area. And uh, it was pretty gnarly, lots of thunder, lightning, and uh, lots of rain. But it looks like south where we're headed, it's uh, clearing up. So we're gonna send it and see what happens. So, so hopefully get some it. fish, yeah, let's make it happen. All right, well, we just uh, made a short run to this uh, flat here, and uh, we've already got like some bunker and some mullet in uh, Aaron's live well, but uh, Aaron's thrown out uh, the cast net uh, a few more times to see if we can get a few more bait. And uh, check out this bait right here. These are primo baits right here, Aaron. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. Kind of like the northern bunker, but they're a little different. They uh, don't have as many spots on them, but they do have the one big uh, significant uh, black spot as you can see there and uh it should be perfect for a big snook to munch oh my god it'd be so cool to see <laughs> oh yeah all right well we got plenty of bait and oh my gosh when i mean we uh aaron caught a lot of bait and right there was just a big tarp in that uh roll that we came we moved a little bit further south you hooked up yeah what do you got come on guys i'm on on the tarpon yeah i was oh with the little uh no live bait needed Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Um, I'm gonna try a mullet since Aaron has a, a bunker. Actually, no, I like the look of this bunker right here because he's swimming around. Look at this big snack here. Look at how many there are. They're oh, another one just busted right there. Cast, cast, cast. Cast right on that. All right, I'm gonna feed this bunker remember. out no and on. see if we can get a bite on it. This would be epic if uh, I could hook up on a dogs? big tarpon. Oh, he's chasing it. He's chasing mine on the surface. I'm, I'm getting chased right now. I'm getting chased. Oh my gosh, right here, monster. right behind the boat another one right there dude we're surrounded by tarpon this is insane I got it. I'm gonna try uh, switching out and putting a mullet on Can I try throwing this guy up there? Yeah. Hey, 
here. Go to the left of me. I don't get this. Look at it. He's on it. He's on it. He's just chasing them up. He's right below him. Look, look. He's jumping out of the water. You're done. This is it. Come on. Right eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Come on. Eat it. Oh my gosh. This not blowing your mind, right? They're not catching them for some reason. This mullet is crafty. He's, he's evading being eaten. I have any, like, this is That's it. Are you on? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. oh, he threw it. Dang. Dude, we might just have to throw Artie's like. Yeah, I might have to throw on a shad too. I set my life into that. That was awesome. It's a good one. For this rod, 30 pound test, it's gonna be tough to bring her in. Oh my God, he missed it. He missed it, but he came halfway no, out of the water. That was insane. Down. Come on. I don't know what to do, man. I want to throw the artificial. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He missed it again. <laughs> They're going crazy no. for this mullet. No, I have to get a mullet on, dude. Come on. Oh, those are big. Those are dope. Dude, when the pilchers get pushed in here, the big one, it makes sense that that happened with that storm. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a mullet. I know that's my mullet. Oh really? Yeah, he's getting chased. Here, let me go to your right. I want to cross you. Come on, he's eat it. He's right below it. There he is. No way he didn't get it. He missed it. No. No, he might have it. He might have it. He's on. There he is. There we go. Oh, that was epic. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, he's swinging around this way. No freaking way, it's a Jack uh, Craval. No way. Yeah, it is. No. The tarpon was chasing him and then the Jack came in and stole the bait. No, 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 dude, are you <laughs> Come on, what a tease. I knew something was up, he wasn't jumping at all. It's a pretty big one. It's gotta be 30 plus pounds. Uh, I don't know about that. <sighs> Looks like he's maybe like 20 pounds. Coming back so again. <laughs> what a tease, right? <laughs> My God. I mean, any other day I'd say yeah, but when there's this many carpet around. Yeah, it looks like a 20 pounder. There we go. Circle hook perfectly in the corner of the mouth. I got you. There. Oh, he's coming. You got it? Yeah, I got it. You're solo master. <laughs> All right, closer look at that jack. Super fun. <laughs> but not what we're after, They're really. Better than nothing though. All right, let's get another bait here. The mullets seem to be getting the most action out there, but <laughs> this tarpon can't catch them. They're just eating lazy. Yeah. That was a nice helicopter mullet cast. <laughs> thing was just going like this. Maybe it'll disorient him so he'll get eaten by a tarpon. Oh, I'm getting chased. Oh yeah. It's a big fish chasing him. Oh, just got eight. I think I just got eight. There he is. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Oh my God. Oh my God. Giant fish, we're gonna have to chase them, dude. We're gonna have to chase them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This fish is going off. He's going right around those pilings, or, or he's, he's heading in that direction. Insane. Hooking up right after the jack, literally first cast with the mullet. All right, basically like kayak fishing. <laughs> Any big fish I caught in the kayak, it's like uh, the fish is towing you, so you're reeling yourself to the fish. Oh boy, it's a big fish. Oh, this is a monster. Yeah, you're gonna have to chase this fish a little bit. It looks like he's gonna go down into the left. I would go a little bit faster. Yeah, he's way out there.
It looks like he's gonna go out and through like, yeah, in between one of those pilings to the left. Now he's going to the right a little bit, which is good. This fish jumping out of the water was so epic. Unreal, man. Yeah, that was just unbelievable. I knew it would be worth the wait I can't, I mean, I'm not going to go for snook if this is happening. Forget that. I'm going to play him easy. Let him tire himself out. My arm's definitely going to be dead later. Oh, he's right on the surface, bat, like up in there. Oh, look, another tarpon right there. Hey, sorry, Rich is on like a 150 pound tarpon right now. Oh, he's not done yet. Like, Woo! I gotta go because this is insane. My gosh. All right, now he's going left. So he may, he may make a run towards those pilings. Yeah. Because it's like dead shallow, but we should try I, I can get really skinny. Okay. Going to the pilings? Yeah, he's going. He's going to the pilings now, yeah. We gotta beat him there, dude. Which he's going to the right or the left? He's going to the left. So right between these two. I mean it's hard to say. So we have to go under because it's hollow under there. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Alright, he's going through these two. No, he's right on the surface. He's tired out. He's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Worst possible place to land. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm hoping that he'll it's go giant. through. Oh my God, it's giant. And uh, maybe we can land him on the other side if he goes through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where's my glove? He's really tired out. You should get, make a left here. Huh? Turn, turn left, turn left. He's tired out. Yeah, 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 he's tired. He's tired till he sees the goal. That's the worst part with the big ones. I thought you're a leader. I'm trying. I'll try. 50 points. Yeah. Hey, Mike's rolling down. Let me lift it. You want to move just to the left? I don't want to be getting it. That'll fuck you up. Look at that dinosaur. Whoo! That's awesome. Such a good fish. We have to. Like when they feel the current. He's gonna go around and through those pilings, I think. Yeah, he's going right for the structure, dude. He's going to there. Here, go to the back. He's going away through it. Should I just go free spool? Yeah, free spool. Yeah, dude, the tide is not helping us. I'm about to have you hop off up there, and then I'll pick you back up. I mean, uh, hold on, hold on. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I don't think he went in there, and they're not like that. He's still swimming around it. You're good. Got him. Nice, man. He's not done though yet. Hold on, I'm gonna chase him. I don't want him to get in there or turn back inside the middle of the fenders. That would be a disaster. Yeah. He definitely saw the boat there and had like a second wind. What reel is that, a visser? Yeah, Visser number seven. Oh, he's going up for air. What pound braid does he have? Or do you have? 30 pound with a 50 pound leader. So I like- I think this is your shot right here. We're yeah. Get close. All right. It's gonna be hard. I have your glove ready. All right, here. I'll put that on. Good? Yeah. I'll put this over my other hand a little bit. 
He's still not Don't done. Crash it. Yeah. I want to land it. It's going that way a little bit. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bottom. I mean, up close it looks like a lot of rocks, but it could be like sand right off of that. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's going that way. I thought he was going to rip down that way for a sec. I got to bring a heavier rod next time. Maybe. Well, this wasn't the plan. Yeah. But that's fishing. Oh, there she is. I keep seeing her turn underwater, like more and more. She turned again, but she's not done yet. She's just staying deep now and using her body weight. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There she is. Monster. I'm pulling her. She put it in reverse a little bit. I think she's trying to go under, dude. No. Where is she? I have no idea. She's going straight for the structure. <laughs> Just go, keep it in reverse. I think she's on the other side. She's yeah. Over there. yeah, she's on the other side now. There she is. That was really close. She was almost in there. All right, Homework she's back. coming back up again. This is it. She just pulled really hard there to get into that structure. Come on, baby. There she is. Typically people walk their hand down the leader. Yeah. Oh. oh my God. You got all these rods here? Go for it.
I thought for a sec there I was gonna lose that fish under the boat. Ooh. I'm gonna stop talking, but my thought right now is that the boat is going horizontally, so this is a good shot, but. Broke right there. <laughs> From Frey? I probably, yeah. Let me see. The, pro the, not the leader knot broke. Probably. Damn it. One hour. <laughs> you fought that fish for one hour. Damn. Well, uh, that is about all she wrote for uh, this episode. And a uh, huge shout out to Aaron for uh, taking me out that day and uh, if you want to check out his channel I'll put a link down in the description and uh, it's actually a week later now from when I got out with Aaron and filmed that video and uh, I was so ashamed of myself uh, I thought about whether or not to post this video all week because uh, I'm, I'm just so bummed that after an hour of fighting that massive tarpon uh, you know probably the biggest tarpon I've ever hooked into uh, unfortunately uh, the braid broke but uh, I convinced myself to do it because uh, I feel like it could be interesting for some of you guys still to watch, you know, and I also caught the jack beforehand and uh, there was a lot of other, you know, cool uh, blow ups or explosions on uh, our baits. And uh, also maybe you could see what not to do when, uh, you know, fighting a big tarpon. And uh, I think for like 90% of that fight, I, uh, you know, fought the fish or I should say we fought the fish, Aaron and I worked together uh, the best way we could to get that fish tired out and near the boat, but she she still had a little bit of fuel left in the tank towards the end of the fight, and I, and I started getting tired, and uh, I, I definitely put a little bit too much pressure on that fish in the end of the fight, and therefore with uh, the extremely light braid for a fish that size that I had on, uh, eventually it wore thin and, and broke, uh, and I believe it broke right above the leader knot. Uh, the, you know, I was afraid the leader was actually going to fray because I could see on the, the leader that it was getting like frayed up. And uh, also, I, I think potentially I did not have that fish hooked in the mouth because when I was trying to turn the fish, it was almost like I was pulling the fish from like underneath its head. So uh, that could have been another reason why it was so hard to um, uh, tire that fish out and uh, turn them towards the boat to uh, put an end to that fight sooner. You know, it just seemed like the never ending battle, but uh, it's gonna keep me coming back for more. And that's fishing, uh, you know, you live and you learn and uh, that's how you get better. So uh, I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. Huge shout out again to Aaron. I'll probably get out with him again soon. And uh, until the next video, live to fish, fish to live.